In this session, I'm going to show how to draw data flow diagram in diagrams.net. We are going to draw context diagram and level zero diagram to describe the information flows between user and the system when user registers a new account. First of all, please download the stand cell from the link included in the description part of this video. That is, you click on the link, then you are going to see this page, and then you choose uh, download. To download this XML file to your local drive, for example, to your desktop. So then you visit diagrams.net. If this is your first time visiting this website, you are going to see this window. It asks you where to save your diagrams. You may save your diagram to Google Drive, OneDrive, or your local drive. I would recommend either Google Drive or OneDrive because then you can edit your diagram anywhere. But in this demo, I just choose my local drive. That is, I'm going to save my diagram to my local computer. And then I choose create new diagram. At the very beginning, you see this window. On the left hand side, you see a list of different categories of diagrams. For example, under flow charts, you see actually many types of flow charts. But in this demo, we just create a blank diagram. So that is, I choose basic and then I choose blank diagram. Then you see a window like this. On the left hand side, there are different groups of symbols. Let's just use our own symbols. So we go to file and then we choose open library from and then we choose device, which means we are going to load our symbols from our local drive. And remember, uh, just now we downloaded that stencil to our local drive. So then you just click on that stencil and then you uh, choose open. And as you can see, there are three symbols here. Right? And uh, this one is data store. This is process and this is an external entity. And then we start to draw context diagram. In the context diagram, we have one external entity, which is user. On the other hand, the entire system is represented as one single process, which is process zero. So here we are going to have one external entity and one process. So we first drag this external entity here. And this is supposed to be the user. okay? And then we drag this process here. So this is a process zero. Uh, okay, I just uh, zoom in. So then I need to give this entity a name. I double click on this shape and then I give this a name which is user. Uh, after this, I need to describe the communications between user and also system. And basically, uh, there are four communications. Two of them are from user to system. The user needs to provide uh, two pieces of information. One of them is username, the other is password. So here uh, I need to connect from user to system. And as you can see, if I move my cursor over user, you see on its borders, you see there are many connection points. For example, on the right border, you see there are one, two, three, four, five, five different connection points. And also, you know, if you move the cursor over this process, on its left border, you see again, five different connection points. So here I want to connect the second connection point of this user to the second connection point of this process. So I move the cursor over the second connection point here, 
and uh, uh, and then you know after it is highlighted, I just drag this one. As you can see, I have an arrow here, right? and then I just attach the head to the second connection point. So then we see there's a data flow link between user and this system. And now we need to verify uh, this data flow link is attached to both shapes. So we can move, right? we can move each of them to make sure uh, the two shapes are actually connected. So this would be our first data flow link. And also, uh, you know, if I if I just uh, click on this data flow link on the right hand side, I can change its property. That is, I can change how it looks like. For example, I can increase, I can double the width of this line. So, for example, here, right now the width is one point. So I can change it to two points to make it thicker. Then I just right click on this link here, and then I choose set as default style. I can move this uh, shape here, and also uh, I just double click on uh, this blank space, and I just enter the information here. So here it means the user needs to provide the username to the system. And also similarly, let's say I have this one. You know, I want to have a data flow link from this data point. And as you can see here, I draw the second data flow link. So here I drag this connection point to this connection point. And again, I just uh, tap password. And also we have two additional links. So their directions are from the system to the user. So they are the feedback information sent from system to user. So here, uh, let's say I just uh, uh, move my cursor over this connection point. And then I drag it. And then I connect the uh, connection point in the middle here. And then I can make some adjustment. So here, this would be uh, the registration complete information. So I double click on uh, this blank space. I just enter registration complete. And finally, uh, I have another link. So here I just drag, as you can see, this connection point to here. And again, I just make uh, some small changes here. And again, I just give this a name. So this is called arrow message. Okay. So this would be our context diagram. And I just double click on here, I just give this a name. So this is a context diagram. And also I can highlight this label. Uh, I can change the format of this text. In the context diagram, the entire system is just a process. And then we start to draw level zero diagram or diagram zero. And uh, as for diagram zero, there's no need to start from scratch because actually diagram zero is based on this context diagram. So in this case, we just make a copy of this context diagram. So I just draw a box 
to include everything in this contact diagram. And then I right click my mouse, I choose copy. And then uh, in this blank space, I just uh, right click on my mouse and then I choose paste here. So I change this uh, label, it says diagram zero. In diagram zero, the system is decomposed into several components. More specifically, this system is decomposed into three processes and one data store. So here I just delete process zero. And then I add three processes. So this is supposed to be process one, and this is process two, and this is process three. And then I double click on each of them and give each of them a name. So this is process one. This would be to check user name and password. And this one is uh, send arrow message. And this one is process three. Uh, finish registration okay. and then each of the four data flow links would be connected to one of the processes uh, first of all username is sent to this process which is to check username and password and also password is also sent to process one So then I can move this process, okay. And this error message is sent by process two. So I connect the tail to the middle connection point. And then I just make some small changes. And uh, this registration complete information is sent by process three. So again, I connect the tail to this middle connection point. And again, I just make some changes here. And then I needed to uh, describe how different processes communicate with each other. First of all, from process one, there's a link to process three. So I just uh, drag the middle connection point to this middle connection point. And also I, mo I just move process three, okay? And then I, sh I just double click on this part. I just give this a name, which is pass. And similarly, there are two links from process one to process two. Uh, so I just create a data flow link and there is a second data flow link and again I just move this process and here I have a label for this data flow link, which is an invalid username. So you can move this here. And then we have this uh, invalid password. And finally, we add a data store here. We double click on this data store and then we just enter a label which is called D1 and then space and then user accounts. And then we can make this data store wider so we can change its width. And also we can go to text and then we can change the format. And then there would be a data flow link from user accounts to this process one. So here again, I just uh, highlight uh, this
connection point, and then I draw a data flow link. So this would be, I just double click on here, this would be user existence information. And then there's another data flow link from process 3 to this data store. So again, I just move the cursor over this middle connection point. And then this would be so this would be a new account. So then this level zero diagram is finished. And if you want, you could decompose each of the three processes. And then you can start to draw level one diagrams. But in this demo, we just stop at this level. And finally, don't forget to save your work. You should save your work in this draw IO format so that later on you can modify your diagram. And in this session, I showed how to draw data flow diagram. Thank you for watching.